This is super funny, but I am currently wearing a uh, completely monochromatic outfit right now. You can't see my pants, obviously, but look. I was just comfy. I like this furry sweater. It's from Victoria's Secret. And this is the only color I really own. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here, and if you're not, I'm sorry about my little absence. My work schedule totally changed. I started working on Fridays and I haven't really even known what day of the week it is. And this is my puppy Kiku who is done being in the video apparently. Um, today I am going to be filming a long healthy hair. Oh, speaking of hair, what is going on here? Are we good? No? Maybe not? I don't know what my hair is doing. Good enough. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing my tips to get long, healthy hair. My hair actually isn't that long right now. I just got it cut and dyed the other day, but I have had hair. Oh my goodness, my water bottle. All right, guys, let's try this again. If you can see the towel or the wet spots right here, that is because my water bottle just spilled all over my bed. So I'm sitting in a towel right now. Anyways, what I was saying was today I'm going to be sharing my tips to get long and healthy hair. Um, long hair is a very common thing that people want. My hair is actually not that long right now, but I've had hair all the way down to my butt. And these are the products I use and the tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way from going from hair to my butt, hair to my chin, where it's at now. Maybe I'll insert some clips in between of my hair throughout the stages so you can kind of see what my hairs look like over the years I guess. So starting off with my tips and then we will get into the products. I will leave a timestamp below so you can see when the product talk. There will be a timestamp in the description below so you can see where the product talk starts. But for now I'm going to get into some of my tips and tricks. For starters, I am not a hairstylist. There's professionals for that. I don't do that professionally. I have been there multiple professionals. My hair is always cut and colored by a professional. Um, these are just some of my personal tips and tricks that I learned along the way and I've asked questions about. And this is some of the tips they've given me. My biggest tip to keeping long and healthy hair is to get your hair regularly cut. My personal preference is going every three months and that doesn't mean you have to get like an insane chop and get the length off. Get those dead ends off because what you don't really realize is when your ends are splitting, your hair is just getting shorter and more unhealthy and it just it doesn't look good and it doesn't last long so go see your stylist get your hair regularly cut like i said just a little trim keep it healthy keep the split ends away because when the split end hair shaft goes up and up and up then your hair is essentially getting shorter because it's dead well your hair, all of your hair is technically dead skin if you really think about it which is gross but it's a lot Second rule of thumb is to use as limited heat on your hair as possible. I know you want to style your hair, you want it to look cute. Even if that just means just letting it air dry and then styling it from there, that's also a great thing that you can do. Cuts out one less heat product or choose to blow dry it with a round brush if you want it to be wavy, things like that. Don't go for the blow dryer straight from the shower and then go into the curling iron and the flat iron or whatever you prefer to have your hairstyle look like. Number three is see a pro. I have seen so many horror stories and videos on YouTube of people doing things that they shouldn't, whether it be box dyes or bleaching their hair, or I've actually seen, and I had a friend do this years and years ago when we were in like fifth grade, ironing their hair with like a clothes iron. Ask a professional, when in doubt, they're, that's what they're there for. They go to cosmetology school for it. They, they're the best resource you have. Um, yeah, just... See a professional they're the ones that know what they're talking about i would highly recommend it doesn't have to be some expensive salon downtown depending on where you live just especially when you're getting your hair dyed or permed or anything chemically involved there is a professional that you should go see to do that just for the safety of your hair and yourself and i know it's expensive but i don't know there's nothing else 
I would never do it to my own hair personally. Save your money, do, I don't know. I just, I firmly believe that if you're gonna get your hair cut, colored, permed, whatever, that there's someone out there that knows what they're doing, so let them do it. My next tip is actually a super kind of controversial one of how often should you wash your hair. I'm gonna say it's up to you as an individual. Everyone's hair is different. Everyone's scalp produces oil differently. Me personally, I wash my hair one to two times a week, which some people think is gross. Some people are totally on par with it. I mean, I've read articles of people that literally don't ever wash their hair. That's what works for me. But keep in mind, depending on the products you use, if you're using something harsh like a clarifying shampoo and you're doing that every single day, you're stripping it, your hair of its natural oils and textures and it's drying your hair out, which makes your hair unhealthy and brittle and then it could cause a breakage, which is not gonna get you long, healthy hair. And my final tip in general before I get into products is just be gentle, especially when your hair is wet. I get it, our hair gets knotty, especially mine being light blonde hair. When it's wet, it gets so knotty. If you can, just don't brush it when it's wet. Let it dry, let it air dry. But if you're like me and you kind of like to comb it out, use a wide tooth, to comb, wide tooth comb or something like a tingle teaser and just go gently from the end up to the root so you're not pulling your hair out from the scalp. That being said, so just a little recap on my biggest tips and tricks before we get into my products that I use and love. One, get your hair cut regularly. Two, use minimal heat. Three, see a pro. Four, avoid overwashing. And five, be gentle on your hair. Okay guys, if you're still with me, now we are on to part two of the video, or if you're skipped right ahead because you want to know about my favorite products, then that's what we're here for. I am going to start off with my shampoos and conditioners. I have tried everything under the sun. Well, not really everything under the sun, but I have tried a load, a load of products. And I have been using these specific ones that I'm talking about for over a year now. And these are the ones that I love and I just can't get past replacing. If you wanna see some of my reviews about other products I've tried, I do have an account on an app called Influencer and I try to review almost all of the hair care products. So if I can figure out how to link my account below, I will do that so you can just kinda of see what I thought of other shampoo and conditioners I've tried. Right now I have two combinations of a shampoo and conditioner that I am using. What I do is I go through one bottle and then I alternate to the other bottle. They're two different brands, similar concepts, and then I just keep switching back and forth. I'm gonna start with the first thing you do. You wash and you condition your hair. And I will flat out say these products that I'm about to mention, particularly the regular use ones, are the biggest game changer for reviving my hair. My hair is chemically lightened and that puts some damaging stress on your hair. So these are my go-tos. I've been using them for years. So we are going to start off with this set. This is by Living Proof. This is their Restore line. I use this one along with this one. So what I will do is I will go through one whole set of this and then I'll switch one whole set of this and then I'll go back because that is keeps my hair kind of guessing and doesn't get used to one product or the other. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging. This is the Replenishing Moisture Collection. So Replenishing Moisture and Restore from Living Proof. Ironically, they're both purple. Those are just my regular shampoo and conditioner, the things I use to clean and restore moisture to my hair every time I wash my hair, which, like I mentioned in the first part of this video, is just like one to two times a week. Now, I do have some other little added shampoo and conditioner products that I don't use regularly, but they are there for a specific purpose. Shampoo-wise, I have two other ones. I have this one. I am not even going to try and say the name. Yeah, you can just see it there. And I will link it below. This is a purple shampoo. And by purple shampoo, I mean it is very, very violet purple. And this is how I keep my hair super ashy and silvery toned to keep it really light. I have tried like eight different purple shampoos. Carly Chrisman was using this one and it literally can turn your hair purple if you leave it on for too long. Best one best one I've ever tried. And it's actually really not that expensive either. You can even get a liter of it on Amazon for like 20 bucks, which is super affordable for a salon quality brand. 
The last shampoo I have is the On The Rocks by Dry Bar. This is a clarifying shampoo with charcoal in it. This is just for the days that I want like a deeper, deeper clean to get any built up product or anything that might be in my roots. Would say I use this maybe once a month. Um, it does have a grayish black tone and it's just the basic dry bar, dry bar scent. You can pretty much use any clarifying shampoo you want, but this one is formulated to be safe for color treated hair. So that's why I prefer this. Last two shampoo conditioner products I'm going to mention are actually conditioners. This is another living proof one. This is called the PhD Perfect Hair Day Conditioner that improves hair over time. I don't like this one as much as I like the Restore line, but I mean, it's a decent conditioner. I like to have an extra bottle of conditioner around just because I usually go through this more quickly than I go through a shampoo. I will say though, this bottle is super hard to get the conditioner out of. That's why it's like kind of squished. I don't know if I just got like a faulty bottle or what, but this takes some serious effort to get conditioner out of in the shower, which I'm not a fan of because I literally like squish this up against my shelf to try and get any of the conditioner out of it. And then last one I mentioned here, this is this tiny little bottle. This is called Olaplex. This is the number three. This is great if you have color treated hair. I usually even get the Olaplex mixed in when I'm getting my hair colored. It's just a strengthener for your hair. Um, I don't even know exactly what to say about it. You can get that, you can buy this version for home, but like I said, the other step one and two is done in the salon when you're getting your hair chemically treated. So this is something I only use very occasionally. You're supposed to use it once a week between chemical treatments, but like I said, I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So I use this about probably once a month, the same way I would use the clarifying shampoo kind of thing. And you can leave this on for quite a long time. It's to essentially minimize damage. It says to leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes or more. My, um, one of my hairstylists that first originally recommended me this a couple years ago was like, you can literally throw it on in the morning, leave it on all day and wash off in the evening because it's gonna do no harm. It's just there to help your hair. This is, I will say, this is pretty expensive for this tiny little bottle. I think this one was like 27 to $30. If you get it in a salon, it's even more, which is a little ridiculous, which is why I don't use it once a week too between treatments because like this conditioner bottle is usually I think like $30, but I get them all the time at Ulta. Ulta has like, like hair month where you can get them for like 50% off. So I'll stock up on them. Same thing with the living proof one. It's usually like $30 for this bottle or $30 for this bottle. Literally this is 3.3 ounces. This is 8.5 ounces. So that's kind of a big difference for the price in product. Next, I'm going to go into the rest of my actual hair products. I have this little bin here, which might look familiar because I keep my skincare and I will link my skincare video below in similar bins in my bathroom. Um, the first thing that I actually wanted to mention here is masks. Like hair masks are great for deep conditioning, but I've yet to find one that really wows me that I want to keep repurchasing. It just, I would love to find one. So if you have recommendations, please send them to me. But at this time, I don't have a hair mask that I'm like, oh my god, I love and I keep using this. I bought like three or four, I use them, and then I'm just, I'm over them, to be honest. The first one I'm going to talk about is this Blonde Paul Mitchell, it's a Forever Blonde Dramatic Repair Serum. This is, I believe, my second or third bottle of this, and I'm just going to tell you, go ahead and pass. It smells okay, but after using three bottles, there's really no major change in my hair. There's got to be something better out there and to be honest i've noticed more of a change using one bottle of my new shampoo and conditioner that's not really new anymore than using three bottles of this serum so for me this wasn't this isn't worth a repurchase on your behalf but just so you know this is in my current hair care routine but this bottle is at least halfway empty and i will not be repurchasing this again Next one is my detangler and like I told you, I have blonde hair that gets tangly when it's wet and I've tried so many detanglers. I had a Paul Mitchell one that smelled horrible, didn't really do anything. I've had the store bought like the little kid ones. Then I went to Dry Bar when it opened in Naperville. I did a blog post with them, which I can also link below if I remember. And they used this on my hair because obviously my hair was in the bowl, it got knotty. 
This is the Dry Bar Pep Prep Rally Pep blah, blah, Dry Bar. This is a tongue twister. Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. That took way too much to say. So this smells good. It smells like Dry Bar. Everything about Dry Bar smells great. And the thing is, it works. I don't have to use an insane amount of this. It does only come in a small bottle, which kind of sucks, but. Honestly, for the fact that it works, I'm I'm happy with it. The next two products are very, very important for everyone to get, and they are heat protectants. I have two. I have a spray form and a cream form. This is the Hot Toddy by Dry Bar Cream Form. Smells great, just like the rest of the Dry Bar. And this is the Bumble and Bubble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is the primer spray. So they have like an actual oil bottle too. I prefer this one. It's a little bit lighter. So this one, I am... We'll put this on as soon as I get out of the shower when my hair is like kind of air dried just a little bit so it's damp. Preps it for whatever I'm going to do, whether I do it that night, whether I do it the next day, whether I do it in two days. I know I have some sort of heat protectant on my hair. It is also a UV protectant, so it protects it from the sun. Same thing with this one. This is a UV and a heat protectant. I like to spray this one when I'm actually styling my hair. So this I will automatically put on a little bit after the shower and this I will put on immediately before I do any styling to my hair. So if I'm doing day two hair and I'm touching up, this was already sprayed on my hair. Heat protectants are a huge thing, especially when they have UV rays. UV rays damage your hair the same way they would damage your skin. So applying something like this before you use heat is gonna save your hair a little bit more. Like I recommend, don't use heat very often. That's a key thing to keeping long and healthy hair. But if you are going to use heat for whatever reason, make sure you have some sort of heat protectant. I do like the cream because it's easier to make sure you're actually coating all of your hair, especially at the ends. But this is not ideal if you're trying to get a little bit of extra protection on the day two through four hair, which is where this would come in handy for you. Next two products I wanna talk about are my dry shampoo and dry conditioner. Yes, dry conditioner is the thing. I didn't know that until I went to Dry Bar and she showed me it. So I have the Detox Dry Conditioner from Dry Bar. This is the original scent. And then I have the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. This is hands down the best dry shampoo option. I love powder dry shampoos versus aerosol ones because they don't weigh down my hair. The only thing I would say is if you don't have light hair, this can be an issue because it's white. It's like the color baby powder can show in your roots where it doesn't really show for me because I have really light hair. But hands down, best dry shampoo I've ever tried. Just a key note about, I guess, the dry shampoo, dry conditioner. This is such a smart idea. I don't know why more companies don't do this dry conditioner. The idea of it is to keep the moisture in the ends of your hair, keep your ends looking healthy in between. So the same thing day two or four when you're putting the dry shampoo on your roots to make sure they're not oil, you put this on your ends to make sure they're not dry. Next thing I'm gonna go into is just the rest of my styling products. I have the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. I used to use this a lot. I don't use it as much anymore, but if you want good beachy waves, this is a great one. There are a ton of great ones out there on the market. This is just the one that I still have on hand. There's one by Way, the one by Dry Bar, and the Bumble and Bubble one. They're all really good if you want that super PC, just fresh off the beach look. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is a volumizing spray, which anytime I style my hair, this is something I use. So I use this almost as much as I would use a dry shampoo. This particular one is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is a good one it doesn't smell the greatest but it works very well personally my favorite is the orbe dry texturizing spray which i have a little bottle of let me go get it so you can see okay back so this is a little sample size of the orbe dry texturizing spray by far this is the best one on the market and it also smells awesome but this one is so expensive like so 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 expensive and being an aerosol you know you go through them quicker so this is the one I have in full size. Works works almost as well, but not quite as well. So if you have the money to splurge, go with the Orbe. It's hands it down, it's always gonna be the best. But this is also a great alternative for a little bit less. Last on hand product I'm gonna talk about are my hairsprays. This is, I don't, 
hair I don't use hairspray a lot. I don't like the feel of it. I don't I don't wash my hair a lot, so I don't want it to be weighed down. But when I need my hair to last for an event or something like that, hairspray is going to do the trick. Tried a few brands out there. There's some great ones or some not so great ones. These are the two I have. This is the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Express style. This does not smell good. This has a very light hold, but I wanted to mention it because it's so smart. It's an actually a thermal protection hairspray, so it has a, a heat protectant built into it, which I just wish it worked better, but that's a great idea. This is one that I actually enjoy much more. I know Alex Garza had talked about it in her hair care video. This is actually the Sheriff Medium Hold Hairspray by Drybar. I don't need anything heavy hold. I just need something to give it a little extra help. So this is the one that would be the winner, in my opinion, for you to try. That being said, this one, I used to use a lot of Paul Mitchell products and then I found better stuff on the market, to be completely honest. This is easily one of the better products I've tried from the brand, so it's still okay. It's just for a salon quality product, there's other options out there. I do want to give an honorable mention if you do like a firm heavy hold hairspray to big sexy hair that one that comes in a huge red bottle uh, i used to use that when i would cheer and i would need to keep my phony pony and everything all up here and that was easily the most like intense hold hairspray they also have one i don't know if any other brands make it but i had a sample of one from the brand rusk that was like a wax hold hairspray so that was really interesting another super firm hold hairspray i will say that one was disgustingly sm gross smelling so you win some you lose some i guess last thing i want to just get into really quick are hair oils honestly i like the concept of them but i'm gonna go for probably legit just an organic like argon oil on my ends tried the josie Marin one and honestly you're just paying for her name on it it's not all that great you can get a organic one from whole foods for quarter of the price so there's that option out there i don't have any on hand that i currently use but that's just my take on those i mean i can already see this video is going to be probably way too long and i can talk for ages on the products that i've tried in the past that were misses but i do want to highlight a couple other things that i have and these are just some hair tools i have a wide tooth comb well, actually i have two wide tooth combs this one was from urban outfitters this one i just ordered on amazon it's the brand cricket if you're going to use um if you're going to comb wet hair this is a good option otherwise get something like a wet brush or a tangle teaser that's really gross that has my hair in it but i have these are tangle teasers. I have loads of them. I think I have eight. I have a, one in my car. I have the shower one. I have these two. I have one in my travel bag. This is honestly the brush I go to. I do have a like a paddle brush, but I am more prone to use this. Well, my camera just stopped recording, which means I've been talking for too long. So going back in, tangle teasers over regular hair brushes, safer for your hair, and then scrunchies. If you're going to put your hair up, get a scrunchie. Oh, look, it matches. Um, they don't leave the marks and they're less damaging on your hair. I do have special ones that I use when I go to the gym, which I also didn't bring over here. Let me go get them. Okay, my camera's flashing red. I need to wrap this up really quick. So these are the hair ties I use when I'm at the gym. They're made of um, neoprene. Neoprene? I don't know how you say that. They're from the brand MEJ. They're just like the ribbon ones that I have those too, but... They're neoprene for the gym. There's a whole description on why they're great. Read a review about them, tried them, and I like them and haven't turned back since. So I either go for those or I go for my scrunchies. And that's it, guys. That's all of my products and my tips of how I personally got long, healthy hair. Like I said, it's not super long right now because I just got it cut and it's not cooperating with me today. But I am about to go head out and get some sushi, so I'm gonna cut it out today. Cut it out. Cut it short. It's probably not going to be short. I'm going to end this video right here. Say goodbye. I will be back soon. If you have any comments or questions about other products, like I said, I will try and find my like influencer how to link that so you can see some of my other reviews on products I've tried. But any questions, just leave them down below if you want to see like my hair care tools or things like that that I use to curl my hair. Let me know. I can do a mini video on that. But that's all for today. 
Bye.